If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Haunted, you say? Tell me more about this barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I could investigate if you want. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. On that note, I'm the person who will sleep at an inn next to a haunted barrow. Because you're the only inn around, and I need to be here. Oh god, where is it? There it is. Okay, I didn't notice it at first because it was grayed out. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Yeah, this is a different in layout, so I could really use the help. Oh, is it right behind you? Oh, that's convenient. Let me know if well, there's anything else <laughs> Convenient you for you, I guess. You can go. You can leave. I would like to sleep now. Alright, no, I guess, uh... I, think I, you should I guess I'm with really, really gonna have an audience tonight. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. Well... I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. I just want to sleep, guys. All right, Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. This is a really nice moment and all, but... We don't <clears throat> get many visitors through here. <clears throat> unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Nope, okay, fine. This is how it's gonna be. I saw it again. That ghost. It was over by the barrows. That thing's evil, Linley. I told you to keep away from there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was curious. Every time they talk. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over the there ever again. the most looking conversations See I've ever don't. seen in my life. I promise to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. At least Lucian has the common courtesy to wait outside my room when I sleep, rather than stand we there and watch me all night. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Need a room? Maybe a drink? You name it. Hey, that room is still mine. I got another several hours left on it. Has anyone ever explored the Barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. We never saw him again. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? You say people usually come through here just so they can see it? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Why is that? Oh, you can't ask that, no. Keep your eyes open in the barrow. That's how they get you. I'm gonna check it out. Hopefully there's some sort of reward for it. Now my horse is still following me because I never did just tell her to wait. So you wait here. I'm not going to need you for a little bit. I like the little wave. It's like, I'll be back. Don't you worry. I'll, I'm coming back. Nothing to worry about. Oh, that's why they're so worried about the barrow. It's right here. Yeah, I'd be a little concerned, too. That's definitely bad for business if you have a haunted barrow just right <laughs> behind the inn. Well, Lucian, what do you think? Does this scream haunted to you or anything? Granted, I guess I've only been through, what, two or so barrows, so maybe I'm not an expert in barrows yet, but... With the Draugr coming back to life and everything, that alone already seems 
pretty spooky. That whole one already seems pretty haunted to just your average person. See? Right there. Draugr. If someone didn't know that the Draugr were back, yeah, I'd say that's pretty spooky. Leave this place. Leave this place. Oh, hey, you're that treasure hunter they mentioned. Leave. Leave. I wonder if anyone's Leave. ever been happy here. Well, certainly not that guy. I'm not sure if anyone's been happy, especially if they're all dying here. All right, Lucian, you're a scholarly type. What do you think of these four levers? I'm, uh, I'm just gonna try one. Well, that's halfway there. And 100%. I know he said leave, he didn't say please, so. We're gonna go after him. Now is this gonna open these up? What about back here? I know I just opened that and I can go that way. That's the exact same way the ghost went, but... I just want to see what's going on. I'm trying to see what this is going to activate. Oh, okay. You'd have to re really, really sprint in order to get hit by that, but Lucian... Oh, Lucian, you gotta be more careful than that, buddy. Oh. I saw my life flash before my eyes for a second. Here I was thinking I knew the trap. Here I was thinking that I was gonna be fine, and then... <laughs> I'm even saying it's like, oh, how are you gonna get hit by that unless you sprint forward? As far now I know how. Fascinating as the ancient Nords are to study, I wouldn't have wanted to be there at the time. Now I know how you would get hurt by that trap. You have a friend who steps on it just to, uh... Just mess with you a little bit. Lucian, please step away from it. I don't want to eviscerate you the way that you almost eviscerated me. And we're fine. Keep your eyes open, though. I can't imagine that's going to be the last trap we see. Hmm. Mortal fool. No one hides from the dead. All right, time to fight a ghost. Huh. That ghost can bleed! It's no ghost at all. Just a man. Filter the phantom a pure spectral for 30 seconds. So if I ever wanna fool anyone into thinking that I'm a ghost, let anyone believe that I'm haunted, or <laughs> that anywhere I go is haunted. Journal of Wendelius Gatharian. Gatharian? Gatharian. Fourth era, year 200, 18th of Morning Star. I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Fourth era, year 200, 25th of Morning Star. At a close call today, with that fool Wilhelm. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. It gives me an idea. Fourth Era, year 228th of Morning Star. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of those supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrow. Going to be testing it out tomorrow. In 29th of Morning Star, success! It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander around the entrance of the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing aloud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Eleventh the hearth fire, almost half a year has passed and no sign of the claw or any clue as to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. It has to be here, can't risk hiring my assistant, any assistant, so I'll have to continue alone. Twentieth the sun's dusk, it isn't here, it can't be here. This isn't right, it must have been the people of Iverstead. They must be onto my ruse, and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? 
My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal to remember my purpose. Am I part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? They shall not take my treasure. Oh, first error, you're 1,050. I didn't even notice that. Ever before. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroud Hearth Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. Well, the claw's not here, so I guess we should just take this back to him, then. I guess it's kinda haunted when you think about it, then, if whatever presence is in this tomb, whatever aura is in this tomb, was able to Part destroy his mind so much. Be here. That or could just be him going insane from lack of any human contact at all, lack of any just social interaction at all. I've got good news for your business. I found this in Shroud Hearth Barrow. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. The Sapphire Dragon Claw. So he was right in a way. You weren't really holding out on him so much as, you know, I guess if he had just asked or actually cleared out the place. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. Then maybe. It's a long way down. He would have been the one to get it as a reward if he had just said, oh, it's not haunted, you're all fine. I think you should continue with your performances. But no, you just had <sighs> to mess around point? with them. I'm not... And because he messed around, he never found it himself. Because he never was just honest with them. He never found the treasure that he was looking for that entire time. Although, that being said, all he had to do was, like, go and ask. Maybe they wouldn't have given it to him. Maybe they wouldn't have given him the claw if he had just asked in the first place when he first came by as a treasure hunter, but... He seemed to know that he needed the claw pretty early on. If he had done that before he pretended to be a ghost, I don't know, maybe they could have worked something out. That's all I'm saying. I almost didn't see the trap. Almost missed it. Glad I didn't. You can really just stockpile lockpicks very, very easily. It's really not that hard to. I have 70 and I'm not even great at lockpicking. Sapphire, Dragon, Claw. Butterfly, Owl, Wolf. Now is when we might start seeing the actual haunted stuff. Now is when we probably start seeing Draugr that aren't just sleeping soundly and kindly in their final resting places. Lucian, you haven't seen a Draugr before, have you? You haven't been to a Barrow yet, have you? Well? So many ruins in Skyrim. More than there are houses, it feels like. You're not wrong. There's definitely more barrows than there are homes. We care more about the dead than we do about the living. <laughs> I immediately backed up just in case that was some sort of trap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lucian, look alive! Alright, so far we're good. Take that! Boost! And... Boom. Not bad. Not terrible. But we got more. Lucian, right next to you. Lucian. Please look at him at least. Oh. 
All right, that was a good hit. Okay. Lucid, I'm coming to help. Don't worry. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of this. Ooh. I was scared there for a second. I was a little worried for a second. I was also waiting for that to close on me the second I threw that lever. Well, that's going to be a trap door if I've ever seen one. Yep. Oh, at least I get to wash away some of my dirt. Lucian, is this going to bring you back up? That works. <laughs> I was hoping it would. I was hoping that would do the trick. There's more up there. Let's check out here first. Oh, another trap. Lucian, watch out for this one. Also, watch out for that one. Ooh, alright. I saw the trap. I don't know why. I just assumed there was going to be another arrow trap. And I just should not have rushed. Although I didn't take the brunt of the damage there, he did. I don't trust any of these handles. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Lucian, Lucian, wait. Ah! This is rather exciting. Did that get all of them? It did. All right. I saw them start to move, and I was really hoping I could catch all of them before they just started running out of the circle. Oh, I'm stuck? No. Okay. M block. You won't make Fools. me one of you. I don't know if that's how it works, Lucian, but... I mean, I certainly hope not. Can you imagine? They kill us, they mummify us, and then in a few hundred years, then we're Draugr too? Ugh. Now that I think about it, I really don't like that idea. It's very morbid. You don't want to come this way? You didn't want to fall for the trap? No. Die, Draugr! Boost! Well... I probably should've... Thought this through a little bit more. Oh, but he didn't. My time is gonna suck for this. I hit sprint. I did not sprint at all. You're okay, Lucian. You're okay. You're gonna be all right. You're just a little bloody. Just a little. This is just... Oh, no, Lucian! God damn it. I was about to say, this is just the barrel of a hundred traps, and I, <laughs> as I stepped Past this trap, I went, oh no. I turn around, Lucian's already on it. Oh my god. That could have got a lot worse. I was ready for that to murder me. Oh, are you hurt, Lucian? Did that hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, funny how that works. I'm not gonna open that. Or rather, I'd rather find a switch or a lever or... Lucian, I swear to God. That one didn't kill him. Oh, does it hurt? You look a little upset about it, huh? Let's see if there's a switch somewhere else. There might be a switch or a lever. I'll keep an eye out. Oh. That's locked and requires a key to get out. Oh, okay. It was as simple as just getting the key off of him? Yes. And I assume it's going to be the same key if we go back to the first door as well. I'm just looking at our options and seeing where we can go.
See, now that's a tra trap that I can spot. That's a trap that I can notice on my own. I'm not that blind. I'm not that obtuse. Ow! I was gonna say that, or I just need to set these stones to the correct pattern, but Lucian already got it. Lucian stepped on it for me, and... He got it. Here I am, just trying to figure out puzzles, and Lucian's just standing on stuff. Whale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whale, eagle, whale. What's the third one? <laughs> just sitting here. Staring awkwardly. Snake. Whale, eagle, snake, whale. And, moment of truth. Perfect. I see a Draugr right there. Beautiful. Before we go in there, we have... Okay, just the common soul gem, but... In case it's enchanted, in case it is full, that way we can make use of it. Let's see if there's anything down here at first glance. Gold. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, I thought there might have been a little underwater way there. No. Just some gold, but that's fine. I mean, hey, the last treasure hunter certainly isn't getting any of it. I might as well. Lucian! Okay, okay. I know I stepped on it, but I got scared that he was gonna step on it. Right now, I just feel like I am fighting against Lucian for traps. Right now, I am more scared of him setting off traps than I'm scared about myself setting them off. And I know I'm gonna set them off, too. should move in here. Said no one ever. Yeah, Lucian, yeah, you can move right there for me. Question, just because I've never tried it before, can you hit a tripwire with an arrow and set off a trap that way? I've never thought about it before, I've just thought about it now. And I'm wondering how viable that would be. In theory, it would work as long as you have good enough aim to do it, but... I've never tried it myself. Uh oh skeletons. Oh, berserkers! Oh, they're stronger. They're stronger. They've got armor, they have giant weapons. Lucian, thank you. This is rather exciting. I mean, it's like how skeletons in Oblivion weren't just one-hit pushovers. Not that these guys are as strong as high-level <laughs> skeletons from Oblivion, but it's nice to see them at least a little bit stronger. Ow! I say as I just ah, boost who hit some of these Draugr. Whoop, did that kill him? No, okay. No, it did. Okay. Because <laughs> I saw him clipping through the top of the sarcophagus, then slumped back down. I couldn't tell if it was him resetting the animation or if I had hit him and killed him. I did. Right now, I'm just a murder machine, and I love it. This is over. Whew. One last Draugr. Oh, he was gonna shout me. No, oh, he's gonna shout again. Almost. Oh, Lucian, good hit. I'm 
just looking around. Just taking a peek around, see if we missed anything. No, I think we're clear. I think we're safe for a minute. Coin purse, an orcish mace. Elven great sort of scorching. I'll take it. If nothing else, we can always sell it or disenchant it or something. Ring of recharging and a welkin stone. And there I am not noticing a trap yet again. Hey, silver gauntlets, elven armor. Oh, now I see the trap. I just completely ignored that. And at long last, I finally understand what these are. Kine. Kine's peace. Now, one thing I just want to check in regards to shouts, though. Yeah. I just wanted to double check. Yeah, the first dragon you kill, Mullenmir, he counts as the one shout. That's how you unlock force just by default. I can never remember if you keep his soul or if it just gets spent automatically. So I just wanted to see. Well, Wilhelm, I've got good news for you. Your haunted barrow is haunted no more. No ghost, no draugr. And I'm coming out stronger for it. Literally, because I think I've got a level up too. And we'll use that as soon as we get out of here. Man. That irony. That... The treasure room was right behind him. This entire time. All he needed... Well, he would have to fight through all the draugr as well, but all he really needed to make any progress was the claw, but the treasure was right behind him. All along. The irony really is palpable. Oh, Raider, Raider, you live among the clouds now, dear Raider. I can't see you, Raider. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. Are you okay? Raider was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Narfi not to worry. Raider will come back. What's wrong with you? With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Raida leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raida to say goodbye. If you see Raida, tell her that Narvi misses her and to come home soon. Very soon. Soon. Soon like the moon. I guess we'll speak to Wilhelm again and see what you're on about. See if he knows much more about anything that Narfi is talking about. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Glad you're here. So, what's the story with Narfi? Ah, uh, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. You told Narfi she's coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. 
Is there anything dangerous on that small isle to the east? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall, but I don't know why. <coughs> Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Rada any good. If it brings Narpy some closure, I'm happy to check it out. Farewell, kinsman. Hello. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Nice to meet you, too. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. You guys all really seem to love it here, don't you? Haunted barrows, dead sisters, angry daughters. You guys are just really living the life out here, huh? Wait, is it <laughs> right here that I'm going to find her remains? That took all two seconds. No one could find her? Oh, her necklace. <laughs> Yeah, you guys really didn't look very hard. I guess no one's jumping on in and looking for treasure in the bottom of the river, but still. You didn't even have to cross the bridge out of town. She was just right there in the muck. Oh, Raider, Raider, you live among the clouds now, dear Raider. And the fish. I miss Raider. She was so nice to Narfi. Narfi's sad he can't be with Raider. I found your necklace. Raider! You saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Oh. I don't want to lie to him. I'm sorry, Narfi, but she's gone. Oh no! No, no, no! Narfi never got to say goodbye! Now Narfi's all alone. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. There's no happy ending here. No matter what you say, it's not a happy ending. Either he... Think she's still alive and he's still upset because he never, never got to say goodbye to her, or... You tell him the truth and he's heartbroken. But either way, there's no good ending. There's no happy ending for Narfi. So she wasn't near Garman's Hall. But I still want to check it out. I still want to see, see what's going on there. from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. Curved. Swords. If anything, they made it sound like it was going to have something to do with uh, Gehrman's Hall, and just... No, I guess not. Oh. Wait, that ship is new. I want to see if I can take the ship anywhere. Or is it just for trading purposes? Well, I don't see anyone here. I guess it's just for trade, then. Damn it. Someone just put him on the butcher's block. Someone just put him on the wood chopper's block like he's a piece of wood. Arena fans note. As a fan of the Imperial Arena and student of history, I was very intrigued when I discovered volume 8 of the short story collection The Crimson Dirks at a local library in Chaden Hall. While the librarian considered it a work of fiction, I've combed over the information in the story and much to my delight, found much of it to be true. For instance, there was indeed an orc who fought in Dwarven Mail after the Great War, who rose to the rank of Bloodletter before mysteriously disappearing. The same is true for the blacksmith who abandoned her shop in Cyrodiil under equally unknown circumstances. While I have nothing on the Red Guard, the name itself may be an alias. But the last sentence is most intriguing, as it implies our orc Bloodletter went north to Skyrim and began fighting in an underground pit. In fact, I've heard there's an orc living in the Bethalft Ruins, who matches that exact description right now. I've requested the orc meet with me in private so I can ask him if he is indeed the one in the story. I'm so excited. I know the book paints him to be a bit unruly towards fans, but authors tend to exaggerate certain features. Besides, even if it were true, 
I'd be willing to bet time has softened his stance. He'll be more than pleased to meet a true fan of the arena. I can't wait. Yeah, he, um, definitely just treated you like a piece of wood, huh? Ruins of Bethalt. How far away is that gonna be? Gearman's Hall is gonna have to wait. We're gonna avenge this poor arena fan first. Now, Bethalt should be right here. Let's level up first. Now, what to put it into? Taking an incoming hit and all heavy armor has 10% chance to stagger the attacker. 10% chance, 1 in 10 chance? Yeah. That's not bad. Hello? I hear you killed your only fan. Or maybe not your huh? only fan, but one of them. Someone who was dedicated enough you to figure out who you are. Like oh. Okay, okay, he's down. He succumbed to his bleeding and his injuries. Lucy and I could use some help over here. Good hit, good hit. Ooh, close. Oh! Way too close. What? You're a fool to fight me. Damn! Alright, Lucy, an attempt number two. I already leveled and went back into the exact same uh, skill point that I did last time. I just gotta try to avoid his hits. So we just gotta be careful here. Oh, that was close. Oh, this is getting really, really close. All right, all right. He's still alive, though. All that Bosma wanted was to meet his hero, and you killed him for it. You monster! Lucy and I agree. This is not how you treat your fans, sir. Oh, oh, he's running, he's running, he's running. Ah! Get him, get him, get him. Ooh, right before I hit him, succumbed to his injuries, succumbed to the bleeding. We still got two more. I can't even see you. Ooh, she blocked. Well, I'll show you my best. I love it. I love it. Lucian, is he behind us? Oh, there's two. There's one there, one behind us. Oh, I see him. I see him. Didn't have enough range on that. Okay. One more. Don't know where they are. Don't know who it is. They're right. Oh, found him. Try to run, will you? Dwarven Battle Axe, still not as good damage as Wuthred. Dwarven Mail, it's light armor. You know, Lucian, you would look pretty good in it. You would look pretty snazzy. I'm not sure if it's going to be as good as your armor, but I guess we can see. How can I help you? Let's find out. Sure, I'll carry what I can. I mean, he wants to go to a Dwarven Ruin. Okay, it's not as good. I'm not going to give you the helmet. I don't want you wearing a helmet. Let's get moving. Uh-oh. All right. This doesn't go together perfectly. I can see through your arms. Yes, my friend? In that case, I'm just going to take these back. Any chance of a helmet? Could really use one the next time a bandit takes a swing at my skull. Maybe a hood, but uh, no helmet for now, I'm sorry to say. Let's get back to it. I'll put these on my horse. Well, for now, let's head back to town. We'll head to Gehrman's Hall that armor's another a good time. Find. The design is most unusual. Certainly worthy of study. 
it'll be better for him once I can improve the Curus, because the Curus is already pretty close to surpassing his Wayfarer's coat. He likes Dwarven stuff, he's researching Dwarven stuff, we might as well give him some Dwarven stuff to wear. Let's go back to town, let's rest up, let's get ready for finally going to High Hrothgar now that I've spent a little bit too much time investigating the lives of the people of Iverstead. <laughs>